I'm Johnny. I'm Niall. We're from Unsoy Watch, you from afar. You're watching Band App TV. Alright, so it's Colin here from Band App TV, and I'm with Niall and Johnny from Unsoy Watch, you from afar. How you doing, boys? Good, Colin. How are you? Keeping well? Yeah, yeah, great, thanks. Man. So how was Leeds on Friday? Did you get talk, caught up in the, uh, was it biblical rain they were talking about? Uh, we actually left just as it was starting to rain, so because we were, we were driving to stay with friends. So we, yeah. we, we were fortunate enough to miss it, but it was fucking coming down real heavy. So. Got out while you could. Thankfully we packed the gear, man. So, yeah. Nice. So you guys are known for having, well, pretty much an amazing live show. So for those who may not have seen you before and should be checking it out later on, sort of vibe on stage, what can I expect? Um, mostly instrumental and uh, very high energy, high passion and just really good fun and we like to involve the rest of the choir, try and make it a big community kind of type feel yeah. and uh, we just like that fun and uh, play our hearts out. What's your favourite sort of festival story? Have you got any uh, anecdotes for the for fans? Um, we played a whole bunch of really good festivals this summer, and uh, we just got to see loads of really good bands. And um, I don't know if there's anything really that crazy that happened. We played one festival and we, we learned that the crowd were at the front is called the Mojo. Yeah, I didn't know that. I was like, what, what, what are they talking about? The Mojo's broken, the Mojo's broken. <laughs> so that the, the kids watching us had broken the crowd railing, or the Mojo, yeah. as we now know what to be called. So it could have been a hell of a thing. Had like a line yeah, right. kind of standing trying to hold it, and apparently they were going to pull the show. Yeah. But they kind of like just let us go for like another few songs and then yeah. canned it, you know. But that was pretty cool, but... Thankfully, no one got hurt. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a pretty big deal these days, isn't it? Like about security, obviously, yeah. and that kind of thing. Yeah. Released your third album earlier this year. Yes. Yeah. So, have you guys got a headline tour and stuff coming up towards the end of the year, or? Yeah, after this kind of run of festivals, that? we're going back to uh, Germany for a while because we only did like three weeks after the album came out around Europe. So now we're going back to Germany and the Netherlands and Austria and a few places that we weren't able to hit up last time. Yeah, yeah. So that's like three weeks, and then we have a few days off. And then we go to the States for seven weeks. Wow. And that's like a co-headline cool tour with This Town Needs Guns and a guy called Milets who's on our label okay. as well. Wow. So that's going to be mad. We're all like in the same band. Yeah, because it seems like you've been like touring forever, really. It seems like you just haven't stopped and there's no kind of... Yeah, I think, you know... And not that's a bad thing. It's always yeah. great to go out and play, but... Uh, yeah, I was just wondering when we'd get to see you in the UK. You, you get home and then you're like, oh, it's so good to be home. And then the next day you're like, bored. I want to go back on tour. You know? So yeah. do you are on the road and things like that as well, do you, to keep yourself occupied? Yeah, since, since we got we got a new computer and stuff, and like we're always kind of like trying to lay down stuff in hotel rooms and things. Yeah. And like getting shot at that way. People who are, because we're making it. Saying I'm drunk, kids. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you already think about the fourth record, I guess. Is that yeah. fair to say? Yeah, it'll be yeah. The, the first one with Niall Wright proper for it so it'll be good for Niall to like instead of like playing other tunes you know he's gonna have like his full input some of the ideas that even Roy are coming out with they're like unbelievably good so how's that done because the last album I felt was you know really kind of euphoric it's really yeah. it's great for festival really I think you know just happy and you know you just get into it it's not you know dull really for one of a better phrase but obviously is this direction for the fourth record how's that kind of shaping up then it's gonna be pretty epic. I think that's there's a few kind of words that they could be bouncing around to like describe the kind of direction we want to go. Yeah. And, uh, epic's definitely, epic's one definitely of them. In, in there. Yeah. And, um, I think it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be pretty uplifting. But I think there's gonna be some big massive riffs in there as well, and uh, some stuff to really freak people out as well, and some euphoria as well. I, I think it's gonna be really good. We've, we've, Started writing little ideas ages ago and yeah. just been kind of compiling them all in fucking loads now and then it's a nice the case of kind of sorting the wheat from the chaff and see it's still it down into something yeah, to but there's, speak, there's, yeah. uh, there's some really good stuff in there, I'm really excited about it. Wow, good yeah, boys. So what sort of tips do you give to up and coming bands that come up to you, and, you know, these days, you know, like say three albums in, been it for a while now, almost old hat really. <laughs> but uh, yeah, what do you say to the new boys? Um, uh, I guess just Keep doing what you want doing and like what feels right to you inside. You know, yeah. as long as you have belief in what you're doing, yeah. do it as best as you can and as honest as you can. You know, like we've, 
played quite a lot of shows and there's, there's bands here and you know there's guys in bands for the wrong reasons and they think we're just going to get girls and money and you know yeah. and you can kind of see the, the, the falseness and the pretenseness so just like be honest just keep doing what, what you believe in and what you know and inside works and yeah. I think that's just the way to go with it and, and also like unless you're incredibly lucky you're only going to get out what you put in to you know you can't expect great results and amazing tours and support slots and record labels if you're, you know, I don't know, doing something else with most of your week and sort of committing a couple of nights a week to band practice and yeah. trying to promote the band. If you want to really do it, you have to put both feet in and really go for it, you know. Cool. That's a big commitment for some people I don't know. Be not everyone to talk for. <laughs> well, I think it's one of those things where it's it's kind of in you or it's not. Yeah. Is yeah. You see what I mean? And I think that it's not a big commitment if it's in you. Yeah. You know, and I think when it becomes a problem, it means that it's, you shouldn't be doing it. Yeah. Yeah. If that makes sense. That's, well, that's, right. that's kind of how I feel anyway. But um, see, so yeah, what's your highlight been for 2013 so far then? Uh, uh, <laughs> I mean, I, there's been loads of them, but I think uh, it's a bit of a vague one. But I think maybe just the the way that the album has been perceived since it came out in March. Um, like we were really happy with where we were going with it. But there was, you know, a brief moment just before the day it came out of kind of going, is this, you know, are people gonna get this? Are we gonna some of the fans are just gonna be like, what are you doing? But it, it's been pretty positive. And, um, yeah, well I think the fans hopefully should go with you. Yeah. You know, when you get those early releases out and happy, you know, it's great and that's I think for a lot of people the first album is what they care the most about and it's almost like they don't want you to change but if you just make the same album over and over yeah. again then it's very dull for everyone and you're not being true to yourself either because you need yeah. to grow as a musician and grow as you know a player so cool. all right well thanks for your time guys really Thank appreciate you. it good to chat with you thanks a lot thanks so much to you